tonight, fighting out of the red corner tonight. He's wearing the black trunks and weighing in at 150. He represents Toro MMA in his debut bout. From Jefferson, New Jersey, Jared Young Bull Horsek. And fighting out of the blue corner tonight, he's wearing the red trunks and weighing in at 150 pounds. He represents Rebel Ty in his debut bout. From Smithtown, New York, Zach Uber. Okay, fighters, you've both been given your rules. Give me a good, clean fight. Obey my commands at all times. Defend yourself at all times. If I tell you to break, break clean. Do you understand? Do you understand? Touch gloves, come out fighting. Couple of rookies. Couple of rookies squaring off tonight. 17 years old apiece. Zach Ober on the left side of your screen. Jared Horacek on the right. Both making their debuts Are on Friday Night Fights in the Muay Thai ring. Modified rules and full gear being used in this fight. Hot Rod Williams getting the headgear set. Former Friday Night Fights competitor in his own right. Former opponent of my broadcast partner, Mike Chirico. And we'll see what the kid out of Smithtown, New York, has in store for us tonight. Across the ring on the right side is Jared Horacek from Jefferson, New Jersey, originally. Kevin Mulhall, our third man in the ring, and we are underway in round one. Looks like Zach has a bit of a reach advantage. A couple inches taller, a little bit longer. Over five foot 11, Horacek is five foot eight. But it's Horacek landing the left to the jaw in the early going here. He's in the black trunks with red gear. That's Horacek. Ober in the red trunks with blue gear. And Horacek's on the attack. Don't like how Zach has his chin up, but he should have the advantage in the clinch. Uh, Jared looks like he's coming from an MMA school and uh, a lot of the time in the stand-up Muay Thai area, those guys don't come with a great clinch game. Excellent call, Mike. Indeed, Jared Horsek does train in MMA as well, not just Muay Thai. Zach Ober attending to stick with Muay Thai. That's his focus at Rebel Thai Boxing in Smithtown under Rod Williams. Straight left hand got in there for Horsek. As Mike Tirico alluded to, that chin is up and looks like some reddening in the middle of Ober's face right now, halfway through the first round. It is a bit of a disadvantage uh, when you are uh, that complexion because it does show every little, uh, every little touch. You are getting a little bit dinged up. Uh, mm -hmm. I, my coach Primo, he actually goes tanning prior to his fights <laughs> just because of, of that fact. And he does have fantastic skin. God bless him. <laughs> There's Horacek on the come once again. And his That's nose is bloodied up. Indeed, the taller man tasting his own blood in the early going here. Another stiff left gets in there for Horacek. It's tough. Jared wants to get inside, but at the same time, he doesn't want to get clinched up. So he has to do a better job getting in and out. Horacek coming forward, another nice combination. Over, a little bit staggered here. Final 10 seconds of round one, and a little bit of blood trickling out of Over's nose. Left to the temple again, Horacek, right hand lands for him. Another combination, there's the bell to cap off round one. An impressive first round for Jared Horacek, the first of his career. Yep, he pulled away that, especially the last 30 seconds there. What Tough matchup, you know? When uh, when you have the, the height, you're really trying to stick that jab and keep it out, but it just seems that Zach is a, a step behind uh, in terms of speed. Rod Williams in his man's face right now. Rod Williams, a former collegiate football player at Stony Brook, then turned to the fight game, and now he is a coach. Part of the Rebel Thai boxing family. Of course, Eddie Cuello still has his gym in East Meadow, but Rod Williams manning the ship in Smithtown. Glad you could be with us on Friday Night Fights, another installment of the longest running Muay Thai series in North America, taking flight tonight from NYC. Interesting to see how, Jack respond, uh, how Zach responds after that first round. Zach in the red trunks with the blue gear. Jared Horsek in the black trunks with the red gear. And it was a big first round for Horsek. Both these fighters making their respective debuts at 17 years of age. And a more poised and gathered Horsek so far in this fight. Sometimes as a, a tall, you know, early 
fighter in their career. Uh, you rely on that height and you back up with your chin straight up because you're used to fighting shorter guys and he's hurt. Big combination for Horacek lands and over has to step back and he'll get a standing eight count from Kevin Mulhall. He looks a little wobbled. I don't know if he wants to keep going. Let's see what Kevin Mulhall says. He doesn't have it in his eyes. Yeah. He says no go. He says no go. A technical knockout victory for Jared Horacek in his Friday Night Fights debut. Yeah, he got wobbled and uh, looked like it took the fight right out of him. A tremendous debut for Jared Horacek, his team from Toro MMA, including Craig Hannigan, jumping into the ring and celebrating. That's a way to start off a career. Let's take another look at the action from the early part of that second round. Did not last long before Kevin Mulhall had to step in. And you nice see overhand, wow. Over, over staggered up against the ropes. And give the kid credit. He understood where he was. He understood the situation. He said, I cannot continue. And he's only 17 years old. He's got a long way to go in his career and his life as Dr. Rufus Sadler takes a look at him in, inside the ring, as does Dr. Bob Polofsky. So we're glad Zach is all right, responding to the questions of our ringside physicians. And he will live to fight another day. Meanwhile, Jared Horacek on the other side of the ring, a victor. His first time out. Let's go to Connor Hall. All right, ladies and gentlemen. After 48 seconds into the second round, we do have a winner by technical knockout, and that is Jared Youngbo.